So, uh, <laughs> I come from a family. That's my background. Uh, growing up with uh, three other siblings, I had an older brother who was a really cool dude. Uh, very good looking, charming, athletic. And in comparison, when I was young, I used to be fat. I had acne all over my face, and I was very socially awkward. And you know, Jonathan Taylor Thomas had that haircut where you part it down the middle? Yeah, I tried to do that, but I have uh, curly hair, so I turned into a frickin' hornet's nest, right? <laughs> so I used to be so frustrated. Like, how is this guy my older brother? Like, when he was born, did he take all the good DNA? <laughs> Right then, I came through, I went through the genetic cover, like, what the hell, I get psoriasis. <laughs> but when I was 20, I found out he had a different father. <laughs> I know, right? I was so relieved. <laughs> I was, I was sitting there like, bro, I thought you got the good genetics, you just got the good dad, right? <laughs> He's beating me at hockey? I'm like, you're just cheating with your super dad genes. <laughs> Cheater. Yeah, because my parents, they used to compare us all the time, which made me very insecure. Like, they once had a debate on who would win a fight when I was older, me or my brother Marty, right? And my mom's like, I think Marty will win, because he's a street fighter. And my dad's like, well, I think Mike will win, because he's smarter. Yeah, because apparently my dad's never been in a fight before. <laughs> right? Uppercut's way more effective than algebra. <laughs> and even then, the only thing I was really good at in school was English. So all I'm bringing to that brawl is Shakespeare. What do I do with that? <laughs> Getting punched, like, why art thou hurt me? <laughs> I did have good folks. They didn't tell me much about sex growing up, which was weird, because when I was young, I had imagination. I remember when I was seven years old, my cousin was pregnant. I didn't know how babies were created. Almost my mom told me there was a kid inside her stomach. It scared the hell out of me, because thought she was eating children. <laughs> Yeah, by seven months, she was huge. It's like, get this woman a pizza. I could be next, come on. <laughs> Coming over to visit, I'm trying to get my little sister to look tastier than me. That's not normal. <laughs> Standing there like, Kyla, put chocolate syrup over yourself. She'll be here soon, all right? <laughs> like, my parents were so conservative. The only thing they ever told me about the birds and the bees was when I was nine years old, and this is what they said. They're like, Mike, um, did you know that you came out because of romance? Yeah, that's it. Like, what do I do with that knowledge? And now I'm just assuming what? My dad handed her a rose and she was so impressed I fell out? Because I know it's tough. Like, I know it's a tough thing to approach your kids with that topic. Like, I, w I met one woman who was so nervous about telling her 16-year-old daughter that instead she offered her 30 grand to keep her virginity until she's 18. I know 30 grand. That's insane, right? I kept mine for free. I gotta learn some tips from this kid. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I do have good folks. They didn't, uh, they didn't tell me, they didn't actually teach me how to cook either, right? Or, or build. Like my dad, he's really good with his hands. And he didn't teach me any of that. Like I swear at my place, if the toilet doesn't work, I move. <laughs> you know, these are soft hands. If you high five me, it's comfortable, right? <laughs> and my mom never taught me how to cook either because she was a control freak. She thought I'd mess it all up, right? And like sometimes I'd get her to try to teach me, like teach me something, but the only thing she'd ever let me do was like menial tasks, right? Like one time she let me cut the tomatoes, you know? So I was just sitting there, I remember just cutting these tomatoes. And right in the middle, she actually flipped out on me. Just looked over, was like, you're cutting them all wrong. <laughs> like it's getting smaller, I can't be that far off, you know? <laughs> it's not like you handed me a tomato, turned around, looked back and saw me the bigger tomato. <laughs> And then she's one of those moms, by the time supper starts, she go back to her pleasant self and she'd like to give me credit. Standing there like, guess who helped me with dinner tonight? <laughs> That's right, it's my son who's in the corner crying. <laughs> <laughs> so needless to say, I had a lot of frozen dinners when I moved out. <laughs> Which is also the same time I stopped saying grace. You know, because there's nothing more pathetic than thanking the Lord for a hungry man. I love it. I, my parents, they think we live in a smarter generation, too, because we have the internet, right? My mom's always telling me, oh, you have the internet, you could look up anything. Like, are you kidding me? I think the internet's making me stupid. For that exact same reason, I could look up anything. How do you focus? Right, just last week, all the time I spent watching midget dance to rave music, I could learn Spanish, you know? <laughs> and I had an intelligence scare recently, too. I had to get my wisdom teeth removed, and I was so broke. I went down to the University of Toronto, and I let some students do it. I know, I know. I mean, they were dental ones. Don't get me wrong. 
Not like I actually walked into a theater class. Like, this guy's uh, very believable. I'll use him. <laughs> but you're right. Like, it's a, such a scary scenario because they don't even show you grades. Yeah, like, I was frightened I was going to get some stone slacker whose father paid extra tuition. Right, some kid who shows up wearing a helmet with some goggles, holding a putter. Standing there, is that the wisdom teeth? No, that's his nose. I like blue Legos, you know? <laughs> and it's normal to get your wisdom teeth removed, you get a swollen job. When I came to, I saw a black eye. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how the hell I got that. All I know is I was put out and I came back, this puffy, puffy cheek and a shiner. Ray standing like he's waking up. Uh -oh. <laughs> Should give us another five minutes. <laughs> oh, here's one thing I learned recently. I recently went to a porn shop. And get this, they don't even call it porn anymore. They call it adult entertainment. Which I think is stupid, because kids like it too. <laughs> And it actually reminded me of the first time I ever got one of those videos. I was in high school in about a five-hour video. Five hours. Yeah, I was 12, all right? I couldn't even beat five minutes. Like, I still haven't seen the end of that movie. And it's crazy, because the more of those movies I got as a kid, the cockier I got hiding them. Like, the fourth one I ever got, I actually took the video, put it right back in the cassette collection at my house, and on the label, I wrote Educational Documentary of Germany on it. I thought that was a brilliant misdirection. Turns out there is nothing more suspicious in my household than a video with that label. <laughs> my dad cracked that case right away. He's like, educational documentary of Germany? Mike's an idiot, that's gotta be porn. <laughs> he spelled Germany with a J. 